modern aeroponics potato farming. Aeroponic potato production is a modern and efficient method of growing potatoes using a closed-loop mist-based system. In this system, the potato plant roots are suspended in the air and regularly misted with a nutrient-rich solution, providing the plants with all the necessary nutrients and oxygen they need to grow. This method of potato production is highly water efficient as the misting system reduces water usage compared to traditional soil-based methods. Additionally, aeroponic systems can be controlled with precision, allowing for optimal growing conditions, faster crop yields, and a reduced risk of disease and pest issues. While aeroponic potato production requires specialized equipment and can have higher upfront costs, it has the potential to greatly increase productivity and sustainability in the potato industry. Aeroponic Potato Farm Aeroponic is a new way of farming potatoes that helps the crops to grow faster with restricted use of water with other means. Practicing aeroponic farming is beneficial in many ways, such as land shortage is no longer a problem and has increased production 10 times. It requires less amounts of nutrients and it reduces the cost. In the aeroponic process, the plant roots are hung in the open air under manageable conditions to restore the soil with artificial foam or plastic splints. For the healthy growth of the plant, a nutrient solution is prepared. It's provided to the plant through atomization nozzles. This system contains light-proof growth chambers, nutrient chambers, high-pressure pumps, filters, and nozzles. The aeroponic boxes need proper insulation, firmness, and solidity so that the roots may not be overblown because of the temperature changes in the greenhouse. Wood is preferable for the box frame. Early grown potato diversification starts to manufacture mini tubers after two weeks of transplanting. If you want to watch more exciting videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join our wonderful community. When mini tubers approach 8 grams or equivalent to 0.5 centimeters in diameter, it's the perfect time to harvest them, but always pick them up in the morning when it's cool outside. However, detach all the mini tubers with a greater diameter than 1.5 centimeters during the first picking up to upgrade the start of more tubers. After every 10 to 14 days, further harvesting might be performed. The harvests remain to continue until the plant approaches six months old. Sweet Potato Cultivation The sweet potato planting machine is a highly advanced technology that automates the process of planting sweet potato tubers. It features a precision planting mechanism that ensures accurate spacing and depth reducing the need for manual labor. The machine is designed to be efficient, fast, and easy to use, making it a valuable tool for farmers looking to boost productivity and reduce costs. With its advanced features and reliability, the sweet potato planting machine is a must-have for anyone looking to grow this popular root crop. Sweet potato cultivation is prevented rapidly throughout the world, as it's on the top of the list that's utilized to feed humans. This is a solid crop as it can be cultivated in various climates. Sweet potato is a great plant that can be planted in tropical and subtropical climates. The required temperature is between 15 to 33 degrees Celsius for its cultivation. 
The highest production is achieved when the temperature in the daytimes is high and low at night. Sweet potato is a short day plant that requires light for maximum development. However, in tropical regions, it's possible to farm sweet potatoes from sea level to 2,500 meters. Commonly, the growth cycle of sweet potatoes is from three and a half to seven months and takes place in three different phases. Potato Chips Processing After harvesting, the potatoes are transformed to preheated remodeling rooms in 70 to 75 degree Fahrenheit. In the potato selection, sizes and their types play an important role. They're then fried in corn oil or vegetable oil. In oils, an antioxidizing agent is poured to eliminate the ill smell. Ensuring that the oil is hygienic, the oil is passed through a filter daily. There are huge plants that separate the damaged pieces automatically. Potatoes transfer along a conveyor belt. The purpose of the conveyor belt is to keep breakage to a minimum level. Then potatoes are transferred into a helical screw conveyor that throws all the stones out and pouches the potatoes to the auto-peeling machine. When peeled off, potatoes are washed with cold water. Potatoes are loaded into a revolving impaler which cuts them into paper-thin slices. Potatoes again pass through the cold water to prevent the extra starch. Potato chips to be flavored move through an automatic machine filled with required powdered seasonings. Potato slices are to be rinsed in a solution inhabited for hardness, pH, crispness, and mineral content. A wire mesh girdle grabs the hot chips at the end of the feeding container. As the chips move with the mesh conveyor girdle, extra oil is drained and the chips begin to cool. This whole process works with different automatic machines that work independently under robotic systems. New techniques have made many comforts to human lives. These automatic machines also even do the packing of those chips. For this purpose, the chips are moved to a filler machine with a weight scale. There's a metal detector that measures the weight. The wrappers flow down from a roll. A central processing unit is on each bag. It tells the machine how many chips should be thrown into the wrapper. As the wrapper fills, the device's heat seals the bag's top and bottom edges simultaneously. A gate opens up and chips are moved into it in a standard quantity. The robotic machines fill some air into bags so that chunks remain solid. Many companies use nitrogen to fill the space. These sealed bags are moved to a collator and hand-packed into cartons.